Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us on today's sports car video, right? AMG, acronym for, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to butcher that German language, and I certainly don't want to be the one who is uh, reprimanded for that. Anyway, when we walk around this car, you're going to see some pretty cool touches on it, as well as some high speed and good looks, not to mention some awesome, awesome features inside, like the air scarf, which cools or heats the air around your neck with the top down, just little stuff like that that separates these cars from other cars and why I love them so much. So uh, a lot of times when you see uh, wheels and tires of this size, it's not just for looks. In the case of this car here, it's absolutely to fit the brakes in there. The brakes on this car are so big because there's a lot of power in here too, right? They have to make the wheels big enough to fit all that in there. All right, let's talk about factory paint. I think, a, I think as far as Mercedes paint goes, it's some of the best factory paint out there. We should look at the quality of that. We'll look at a little bit of styling as well. And let's take a walk and let's get started. All right, so the number one color this year is white. White is the best selling car color for a reason. This car looks so stylish in the air, not to mention with the red seat belts and the red stitching for the black leather and suede inside. But the paint quality is why I brought you here and I wanted you to watch this. What you want to do is make sure that you can read every letter, every piece, and make sure they're nice and crisp in there because uh, the video is what helps you know whether you're getting good paint or not. All right, I know it's hard to take your eyes off the styling of this. The front ends are different on the AMG cars. The back ends are different on the AMG cars. The power plant under the hood here is different on the AMG cars. And what I like to point out is it's not so much that you need me to spend time telling you about this, but it's a twin turbo V6, uh, making almost 400 horsepower, uh, nine speed automatic, right? Uh, what I like to point out is that all the decals are still in place. You say, Tone, uh, what do we care about decals under the hood? You're absolutely right, good question. And the question and the answer to that question is this, is that if this hood had been replaced, these decals would no longer be here, meaning if it's been in an accident, right? All of the decals are still here, decals you can't buy anymore, right? That came straight off the assembly line. That gives you a good idea, an indication that these are the original panels on the car. They do a great job fitting it in here. Not to mention it looks good, but most importantly, somebody has detailed and loved this car over time because it's exceptionally clean under here, and that's a good indication of how well a car has been taken care of. All right, so just so you can see what you look like from behind when you're driving, this is why we do this part right here. The AMG car, again, back to the AMG touches with the quad exhaust coming out the back, nice styling here, polished hoops. Once we get inside, you'll see some really nice stuff in there. And there's actually a lot of storage in this car. Right now, we have the top down, all right? And so when the top is down, I want to do that on purpose, is all of this back there, right, is all in there for soft luggage, uh, golf clubs, whatever it is you want to put back there. Danilo will not buy a car unless it holds golf clubs, so we have to make sure that all the cars that Flemings carries, right, are golf club ready. That's a requ requirement of him. Anyway, nicely done back here, nicely finished. Uh, this right here we're going to show inside, but this is actually panoramic roof. This is an option on these cars. Most of these cars had a painted roof. This right here is a pretty expensive option, and it has a chemical in it that actually darkens the glass when the sun's coming down so it's not too bright, right, and uh, make the car too hot inside. You'll see it once we put the top up. It's actually really cool looking. All right, so come join me inside here. One of the reasons I like to spend the time inside, not because uh, it's not beautiful in here, because it is, is to show you that even some smaller cars, or bigger cars, have a really small cabin. They've done such a great job packaging this. I'm 6'1", and I have a lot of room in here. I have a lot of room, uh, and the interior is spectacular. This is uh, perforated leather, suede with red stitching, the LED lighting on the side of this here with LED lighting all around, panoramic uh, roof here, which has a chemical in it, which allows it to you know, lighten and darken depending on uh, how bright the sun is. It's got this great sport wheel with a flat bottom like a race car, 180 mile an hour speedometer and 8,000 RPM deck. I mean, it's a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, not to mention, it's got the Harman Kardon sound system. And I, and I say this to you only because this is the way you want to buy a car. You want to buy a car that's been garaged at home, garaged at work, the paint's nearly flawless, the interior's nearly flawless, and, uh, and it's roughly half the price of it was when it was new. This is why I love these kind of cars, because it's such a great value that way. And the top is super cool. Because it's a folding hard top, you don't get the wind noise, you don't get the rattles and squeaks that you might get with a soft top. Not to mention, it's super fast uh, when it goes down. And you can do this top uh, up to, I believe, up to almost 43, 40 ish miles an hour. So it's one of the few cars that you can actually do that. Boom, and the top is done. Anyway, uh, what an awesome, awesome car.
All right, so let's close up the video. This car is almost $70,000 new, right? $70,000, which is an expensive car, right? What are you getting for $70,000? Well, you're getting a twin turbo aluminum V6, making almost 400 horsepower. Big 18 inch rims around, big brakes here, air scarf, Harman Kardon sound, special stitching in the seats, great paint, the folding hardtop with a panoramic roof. It goes on and on and on. That's all bulleted list of extra options from this particular car, not just the cars in general, this particular car. And the, forget all of that, the condition. The condition is what we've talked about all along, how the wheels aren't curved, how the tires are great, how it's inspected and in, in a nearly flawless car that you can take home today and enjoy some great, great motoring. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. And if you don't mind, please share this video with it and uh, if you would like it. And also if you subscribe to the channel, every time we're getting some new stuff in, we'll send you a, a link about that.